Fans, here we go. Another lowdown right here on the Future Stars Wrestling YouTube channel. Back with Dino Dinelli. Good to see you again. Dino, you know the best news out of it. Last week, the lowdown premiered. Everybody's going crazy about it. They're all watching. And you know why? One of those big reasons? It's you. It's your adorable face right there on the screen, Dino. Well, I was really proud, really so elated that uh, fans really took to Lowdown and Dino's New York City Diner. It's great. It's something we're going to be doing for a long time, Jack, because it has become so popular, real, like a, a YouTube sensation. Yeah, and I'm glad you survived it there. You're in the same room with Rush and Partain, and that, and you were actually right between them, and you're, you're all still there. You still got you all your arms and legs. Good thing you got out of that one alive. I can't wait for it. We got more information for you. We got a uh, special on the Young Bucks. That's right. They're coming back to FSW. Future Stars of Wrestling. They were here one time before, way back in 09 in our very first show, but we got them coming up. We're going to give you just more information about that. We got more for them tonight. Dino, you're going to be on Dino's Diner. Who, who, who do you have as a guest tonight? Well, I have the most volatile guest in the history of professional wrestling. Partain's back? Uh, no. Uh, Partain is a little, you know, here, oh, there, wait a minute. Everywhere. I know who you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, you know who I am talking about. Yes, it's yes. definitely the man, the owner, the proprietor here in FSW, the man who started it all, Mr. Rocky T. And it's nice finally working on the same page. We've had our issues. We've sure settled have. our issues. We're he working fired together. you not too long ago, right? Well, a long time ago. But that's water under the bridge because he always told me he really respected me. He hated that do it, but he had to do it. It was business. You know, I watched The Godfather. I understand friends are friends, business is business, and that's the way it is here. Right. But the fact of the matter is, we are so on the same minute, page. You got, you got the fish all wrapped up in the paper when he canned you? Well, I'll tell you what happened to Rocky T. Uh, well, you know, Rocky T just couldn't do it without me. He realized it. I realized it. We all realized it. The number one heel in FSW for the first year. So why would you want to get rid of someone like the infamous Dino Dinelli? But... In his infinite wisdom, he did it. But when he finally smartened up and smelled the coffee, he said, Hey, Dino, get back here at FSW. I need a commissioner, will you, huh? <laughs> We're going to find out more about that with your big interview. Can't wait. We're going to get the lowdown started. We're going to go right out of it right now. Give you some more information about future stars of wrestling, what's coming up, and how you get involved. Stick around for more of the lowdown here on the YouTube channel. Become the next future star of wrestling. The number one school in the Southwest offers the best opportunity for anyone looking to break into the wrestling business. Train to be a wrestler, announcer, manager, or ref with head trainer Mike Modest, the man who trained the great Kali, Spike Dudley, Crash Holly, and John Morrison. Guest trainers, affordable pricing, weekly kids class. Live the dream. Sign up today. Easily located at 6658 Boulder Highway. Call 742-8770. Do you have what it takes to be the next future star of wrestling? Come see us today. All right, fans, here we go. You're looking at them right there. It's the big talent that's coming to Future Stars of Wrestling, the Young Bucks. Hey, they're so young, we had them. When they, uh, man, I don't know how old they were. I think they had to use fake IDs to get into this show right here. Young Bucks, May 09, right there. Rancho Swap Meet, our very first show ever. And wow, what have we done since? We have really gotten huge. And you know how huge we are? These guys, they're signed right now. Ring of Honor, Tag Team Contenders. They're going to be here live September 23rd. you got to get down here. It's going to be a great show. I hope you enjoy it, Dino. Aren't you happy to have him back? I'm so elated to have him back because these guys started out right here with us at FSW. In the preceding years, they mm -hmm. went to Ring of Honor. They've gone to TNA. They've gone full circle. They have asked to come back to FSW. And when I got the phone call, I thought... Why are you calling me? I should be calling you guys. <laughs> Young Bucks, you come back here to FSW anytime you want, and we're going to have them. What is the day, Jack? September 23rd. You can't miss out on people. Get on down here. It's another great show at Future Stars of Wrestling Arena. That's 6658 Boulder Highway. I can't wait for them. We got a lot of stuff. You know what else? We got Paul London on that show, former WWE tag team champion. He's going to be live right here in the arena. Anytime you see Paul London in arena, he's out there for 15 to 20 minutes and even a minute and a half of a match. I mean, 20 minutes just to get into the ring, this guy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But He's a real fans, space cadet. But, the, but <laughs> and, and you don't know. If you have ever seen Paul London outside of a wrestling arena and just talk to him, hey, doozy bots, what are you kidding me or what? I mean, 
I mean, this guy's nuts. 25 minutes to get to the ring from the, from the dressing room. Well, you're, bo- you're bothering a man when he's around the back. You know, he's taking care of things. You know, Paul London, you know, he's... And then when he comes around with Brian Kendrick. Oh, oh Madonna Mia. Oh, my. I wish you guys could be taping that way in the dressing room. What, are you kidding me <laughs> or what? No, we're just trying to air it out in the dressing room back then. Man, you got to get down here for some great shows. You know, let's talk about what we have going on right here. Center, piece of attraction. You know, we mentioned it on the last show. Sean Ricker down there, gave him the dark match for TNA. Oh, my God. I can't believe he came back, first of all. But uh, look at this guy. He's traveling all around from coast to coast. Big name wrestlers. Sean Ricker, one of your favorites, huh? Hey, 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 hey. Doesn't he make you hungry? Well, I gotta tell you, you know, I've said some things about Sean Ricker in the past, but the fact of the matter is, I love this guy. He is the most phenomenal talent we have here in FSW. I would love to see this guy just continue his realm here, right? His helm here, right here in FSW. And I see no reason why he won't. Sean Ricker, he tells me with all the traveling he does, he does a lot of traveling by car, some by plane. This is the time he just sits back, relaxes, and thinks of all these great Rickerisms. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you can see those here on the YouTube channel. Just go right down the skipper right here. You're going to see Rickerisms. Catch up on him there. Now, uh, he also was, you know, he's a bit of a chef. You know, he likes to cook and, and he, he's partial to baking. So, uh, I well, mean, you know, I, you know, you like, you like baking, bake good fans. You need to understand something. And this, you know, Sean Ricker, I have a feeling you're going to be watching this and you should be watching this because quite frankly, Sean Ricker, I do like you. I think the world of you, I have a lot of respect for you. And I have to tell you, your Rickerisms, they're quite amusing. I really, really, really love your, your Rickerisms. And, uh, you know, I, I, I think of some of the things you do, you, you, you're the namer of dummies. Sean Ricker, did you ever stop in one minute think that just maybe these people that you're around and you name as dummies, that just maybe they may be a product of their environment? And as far as all the food you like to incorporate into your promos, your segments, you know, to be quite honest with you, I'm not a big fan of mashed potatoes. Uh, Your father's mashed potatoes, I'm sure they're good if you like mashed potatoes. Your mom, her apple pie, don't like it too much. Your grandmother's cherry pie, not too happy about that either. But the one thing I've always enjoyed more than anything, Sean Ricker, is the way your girlfriend makes my banana cream. tell you one of the better tag teams i've ever seen they were here at cauliflower hour like two years ago and they're making their big world tour again the iwi are coming back Back here in fsw that's right that's right i know that i'm the commissioner for god's sakes i sign him once a year these guys go on a big tour all around the world they're mostly wrestling around europe but basically they're coming back they're one stop in the united states fsw Jack you know, Slammy, how could we not want them? They tore the place upside down last time they were here. They sure did, and they gave the tag team champs a run for their money back then. It was the Von Dooms. I don't know who they're taking on this time, but you got to get down and see it. The Iwi back in the room at Future Stars of Wrestling Arena, 665A Boulder Highway. You know what else we got going on? Big show, you know, on the September 7th. And this is big. This is international big. The German champion, new European wrestling champion, VIP. That's right. Is coming here, and he had one man in mind, Disco Inferno. You know why? Because mm-hmm. of what you were talking about, sports, sports betting, Disco Inferno. Oh, no. 
Disco Inferno has been mouthing off, you know, on High Octane. Keeps mouthing off. Has for the last year about his former tag team partner, Alex Wright. That's right, Dust Wonder Kid. Hey, Disco! Remember me? You better remember me. Well, I'm sure you remember me. I'm the good-looking guy that carried your ass throughout all our tag matches. I'm the guy that made sure we won our tag matches. And I'm the guy which won the World Tag Team Championship belts all by himself because you left me hanging that day. Yes, you're right. It's your former tag team partner, Alex Wright. And something got to my attention now. You're still talking trash all over the place. I'm so fed of it. I'm sick of it. And I can't stand it. I can't stand you. Somebody has to stop you. But since I'm a very busy guy, I have to run my own promotion, New European Championship Wrestling here in Germany. I have a little surprise for you. Or better, a big surprise. A six foot four, 240 pounds, vicious impact power surprise. I sent one of the finest pro wrestlers of Europe, one of the elite pro wrestlers to the States to kick your ass. So on September 7, 2012, in Las Vegas, at the FSW Arena, you better be prepared for the ass whooping of your life. Achtung, Achtung, this is Alex Wright! Alex Wright sent a message to FSW last week, and I don't know what he's thinking. Maybe he's uh, you know, had too many concussions and he suffered brain damage, but he said some ridiculous things, and I thought I was friends with Alex, but he said that he was the good-looking guy in the tag team. And we, we all know that's inaccurate. He said that he carried the tag team. Everybody knows that's inaccurate, that I carried us from the time that we woke up in the morning to the time we went, went to bed at night. I had to make all the reservations for the hotels, the cars. All he did was just ride my coattails. He'd sit in the passenger seat and talk to his wife 30 times a day on the phone. Remember this, Alex? I had to listen to this like 30 times a day. Liebe, liebe, de, mm, liebe, I love you, baby. Liebe, mm, liebe, liebe, de, liebe. I had to listen to that crap every single time we drove down the road. Okay, I had to suffer through teaming with Alex Wright, and you have got to be the most, you know, ingrateful, ungrateful human being I've ever met. That you said you would come here and, and kick my ass yourself if you didn't have a wrestling organization to run? Are you kidding me? Because you got, what, what is it called, new championship wrestling in, in Europe? Like any &E and, you, and you're sending over because you don't have the time yourself. You're sending over one of the greatest wrestlers in Europe to take care of me? The VIP, I guess this guy's name is? And this guy, I guess, is, like, supposed to be so great. Alex, if you're sending over somebody from your organization to come over to the States for me, that guy should be here for one reason and one reason only. To carry my bags, come clean my house, and make me dinner. All right? What you should be doing is flying me over to Germany to help train your guys in NEW to make them worth a damn and turn them into superstars because... To be honest, pal, everybody knows I was better than you, and everybody knows that I would probably be a better teacher than you, and your guys would be a lot better if they learned from me. So as far as the VIP is concerned, man, make your best German dish. I'll go buy the bratwurst. You know, Disco Inferno, you just can't keep your damn big opinion to yourself. You had to start running your mouth. What's it been, 15 years? You couldn't let sleeping dogs lie. You couldn't leave Alex Wright, a big time promoter now in New European wrestling. You couldn't keep your mouth shut and just let sleeping dogs lie. You had to keep going and going and going. You got his dander up, even though he's shaved. Yeah. But the fact of the matter is, he's sending his new European wrestling champion right here to FSW, and he's coming after you, Disco Inferno. Disco Inferno and VIP coming right at this next show. That's this right. Next September show. 7th, you can't miss it. I tell you what, uh, you know, I know Disco was talking all that, but I got to tell you, I know for a fact Joe DeFalco has Alex Wright on speed dial. So I don't know how it got set up, but it got set up 
Joe DeFalco's getting his work done, you know? Well, Joe DeFalco is a 1990s WWE mark. So there's no surprise that whether it's WWE or WCW, anytime he can rub elbows with anybody that did something for two or three minutes on TV, Joe DeFalco wants them around. All right? So that's Joe DeFalco. You know, little characteristic traits, little problems here and there with Joe <laughs> DeFalco. But the fact of the matter is, he does a, a pretty average job here at FSW and with all the help that we've given him throughout the years he's made it to the top as far as being a top promoter here in professional well, wrestling all around the country at he's one he's of the top promoters a, at least he's got a good you know good uh, commissioner to keep everything he's got around. a great commission he's got a great play-by-play -play man he's got a great color man and you Jack you've done a lot of the backbone work here in FSW he's got this Okay, cameraman. Can we, can we fire <laughs> No, we this? can't fire the cameraman. You know, we cannot fire the cameraman. As a matter of fact, he is so nice. The cameraman is so nice. He's going to stay here. Yeah, and stomach. Yeah, but your segment. Well, you got those diner. Well, you got to understand something about this cameraman you know that, for God's sake. You ought to understand the hash that you deal out from Dino's Diner. It's inedible. I'm proud, baby. I'm proud of oh, I tell man. you, that's the way it's going to be. But this guy I, I was looking at my suitcase this morning. I couldn't find my razor blades. I come to the FSW today, and this blithering idiot's all completely shaven now, no beard. Now, isn't there a little bit of a correlation there? I say we're firing this guy. I say we keep him for 10 more minutes so we can get your segment done. What do you think? Well, That's a great sense. idea. Fans, let's go to it now. Dino's Diner, aren't you hungry? Wrestling fans, welcome to another installment of Dino's New York City Diner. And in the initial uh, installment of Dino's New York City Diner, we had the Vegas legends, Rush, Jason Partain, guys that have caused nothing but trouble since uh, they've gotten together here in FSW. Now, with Big Unit in the mix, all hell's been breaking loose here. And that's one of the reasons why I wanted to have this man to my left here. This man is Rocky T. He is the proprietor here at FSW. He is the man whose initial idea this was, and he's put it all together. And in the three years FSW has been going, it's gotten bigger and stronger by leaps and bounds every week, every month, every year. And Rocky is the main reason this has happened. Well, you know, let me stop you there, Dino. Because, you know, I'm not really the only person involved here. Yeah, I had a big part to play. You know, three years ago, Joe Del Falco came to me and he said, you know, Rocky, I got this opportunity. You know, there's no rest going on in here in Vegas. The, the people out there really love wrestling. They want to see wrestling here in Vegas. So we got together with Jack Slammy, Michael Modest, Dino Danelli even, and we put FSW together. It's been a long stroll, three long years. But I'll tell you what, you look at the cards that we have and some of the wrestlers we got, and you would think that we were as professional as anybody else out there. You know why? Because we are. We're taking over the world. We got Phoenix, Arizona. Yeah, we got the TV show. We're on the CW here in Las Drill Vegas. Drill and Rush every week. In High Arizona. Octane here in Las Vegas. We got some major stuff going on. And you know what? It's only going to get better. Right, Dino? That's so true, Rocky T. I'm telling you, one of the reasons why I wanted to stand here and talk with you today on Dino's New York City Dino is because there's been a lot of issues that's gone on here throughout the years. You and I never really on the same page in the past. I was a manager here in FSW. You really got on my case for a lot of the things I was doing, and then suddenly, one night, when it, I guess you had your reasons, you fired me. I mean, I was your top entertainer here in FSW. Company the most, business, Dino. The most hated Company person here business. in FSW. And you had the audacity to come out to the ring and fire me because I put my hands on that blithering idiot, big unit. All unit. about the company. I do what's right for the corporation, what's right for FSW. You know what, Dino? You know, it's not a personal thing. It's all about the corporation, about the business. Doesn't mean that I didn't like you. You know, when you called me up, a matter of fact, and at that time I was searching high and low, and I mean high and low, for a new commissioner of FSW. When you called me, I said it started clicking. Dino, I need a tough guy. I need a guy that can handle these gorillas out here. Somebody that's strong and tough. And you know what? It clicked, Dino. I said, Dino Dinelli, the new commissioner of FSW. That's why you're here. You know what? It was right for the business. Me firing you at that time was right for the business. My personal feelings, I keep those aside. My personal feelings is I know you're a strong man. I know you know how to take care of business. So what better, instead of having you as my enemy, having you as my compadre, somebody that can help me run FSW. 
Well, the fact of the matter is, Rocky is telling you the truth. And ever since I've been back here in FSW as the commissioner, we have been on the same page. We've been taking care of a lot of business. Most recently, Rocky teams had a lot to do with the corporate structure here in FSW. So I've been handling the day-to-day -day operations and some of the things that have been going on here. Now, you know we've been dealing with the Vegas Originals. They're putting their hands on Tara Calloway. They're running her down. They, they don't just get the Duke. I told them last week, you guys got to get the Duke. Get out of the ring. Dress and get the hell you out know, of the arena. I gotta no, tell you, don't. Dino, these legends, I've had it. But let me do this one thing. I want to thank you what? for the last show standing up for me and making that match against Jason Partain and Funny Bone. And then also with the little stipulation of me getting to be outside the ring during the match. At that point, I knew that you really were behind me and you cared about FSW. I sure do. But these dirtbags, I'll tell you what, they're going to get a shocking experience, Rocky! Dino. What the what, are you doing? Experience. what the hell are you because doing, Because you know Rocky Jason T? Partain, it still stands. I don't care what Jimmy says. You got in my father's face. You put your hands on my father. You're knocking down referees like you're somebody. Well, you and the legends, it's coming to an end, my friend. Don't you worry. Put that away, Rocky. It's all right, Rocky, put Dino. that away. It's okay, what the hell do you Dino. think you're it's doing? It's all right, This Dino. is my... What it's are you... It's all right, it's Rocky. all right. Rocky. Wasn't meant to you. Calm down, calm down. It's okay, Dino. Fans, uh, I'll, I'll, it's all right. I'll, it's all right, Dino. It's okay. We'll see you on the next installment of Dino's New York City Diner. Are you crazy, Rocky? Yes, I am. I am crazy. I'm crazy to get those legends out of FSW. You got me. There you go, folks. Another dose of botulism. Hey, that was pretty good. Thank you. All right, there's the condensed version of Dino's recap of Dino's Diner. Lots of fun, folks. And while he's not talking, I'm going to end the show. Folks, you got to hit us up on the YouTube. Hit us up on the Facebook. Make sure you leave us some messages, guests you want to hear, people you want us to interview, things you want to see. All that information can be yours. Just drop us a message on the Future Stars of Wrestling Facebook. For Dino Dinelli, I'm Jack Slammy. We'll see you next week on The Lowdown. He won't answer me. What the hell is Facebook? What are you talking about? Fish in the paper? What, 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 what was that? A Sicilian message. Did you say B scroll? B scroll. B scroll. B scroll. B scroll. <laughs> Man, well, we're going to get on to the next segment here. I'm hungry. Why do people think that's funny? <laughs> that's not funny. It, it was you never had banana cream the pie? Sixth, sixth time I you ever go to that. Eddie Calendar's? <laughs> Eddie Calendar's? <laughs> well, Maria did such a lousy job. What can I tell you? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> What's it, Drake's coffee cake? Oh, madonna mia, what am I dealing with here? I, I go I go into the restaurant, I ask for, like, spaghetti with manara. I get the noodles with the ketchup. ketchup. Yeah, yeah, thank you, thank you. I mean, you want some water? I mean, you talk, you have water? You know how you say water, though? You say water the way you spell it. W-A-R-D-A, water. That's a fact. We got more so funny. It's a f***ing Dino? <laughs> Na 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 na. Hey, hey, hey you suck. <laughs> I'll tell you what ain't funny, okay? What ain't funny is the damage that this tag team is gonna do, the one I'm about to tell you about. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? Okay, before we start the taping here, somebody tell me who I am. You're Dino Dinelli. Oh, hark. <laughs> Welcome to another installment of the Baba Who, yeah. <laughs> Baba Who, I thought we were here at Dino's Diner. I guess I'm in the wrong place. Well, shiver me timbers. <laughs> you know, Rocky T, I love talking to you, brother. But what do you say you start giving me the news and not the weather? You get my drift? My God, I need a freaking towel every time I say two words to the guy. Or the guy says two words to me. I mean, for God's sakes, Rocky T, huh? What is it with you, huh?